Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Um, yeah, off screen, I got the last what is it, million experience points I needed with a red mage, and let's continue. We can compare notes once we others return. Hopefully, then our next move will become clear. It would seem our conversations were much alike. A looming disaster, creation magic running rampant, and this convocation's effort to bring salvation out of chaos. I suppose there was talk of little else in the time when these events came to pass. Arianji, if I may, what are your thoughts on the ancient art of creation? A fascinating discipline indeed. Ought the mind can conceive may be rendered in reality. All that is required is a clear concept upon which to focus one's will. It is not dissimilar to the primal rites taught by the Ascians. Their in ritual ceremony breathes life into figment of myth and legend. I see we arrived at the same conclusion then. The people who lived in the age before the Sun Ring were blessed with vast reserves of mana. No matter how draining these creation magics must be, it seems they pay their cost with not more than a fraction of the ether, which courses through their own bodies. If we were to attempt the same, such spells would soon deplete our energies, and then seek to draw the balance from elsewhere. From a heart of crystal may help, or from the very land itself. Thus, when this art of creation was placed in our hands, it became in effect a means for destruction. An interesting matter which no doubt bears further study. But despite all these revelations, I worry we are no closer to finding Emmet Selk. Has anyone learned aught which might lead us to his location? Not directly, Mayor, but from what we've learned, it seems the convocation of four teams is sequestered in the nearby Capitol building. Uh, when we went to see for ourselves, the attendant wouldn't let us through without a whit of permission. So we tried our luck at the Bureau of the Administrator, where we thought these permissions might be issued. But the clerk there said he couldn't help us since our names didn't appear in the registry. And that is where we gave up. I wonder, Rosarenia, could you be eligible for one of these wits? The voice in the lift seemed to know who you were. It might be that your name is registered at the Bureau as well. We have a look, I'd say. Meanwhile, I head back to the capital and search for a less official point of entry, just in case. Pray allow me to accompany thee on thy reconnaissance. An arcane perspective may prove needful. Um, I think I'd like to speak with more of these ancients. Maybe they know something that could help cure Serenia's condition. Would you mind coming with me? Of course I don't mind. Just leave the way. Minnie Stoll and I will busy ourselves with further exploration. There's surely more intelligence to be had. And so we part ways once more. This time, however, let us reconvene in front of a capital. When I went and got the effort right, just in case I wanted to leave. A visitor's wit. Yes, I can assist you. Full name, please. A Serenia Shadowstar. Uh, please wait near the counter while I confirm your details.
So when you're Shadow Star, your application is ready for collection. As your residency was approved by MS Selk himself, further forms of identification will not be required. Here are your application documents. Uh, submit them to the Bureau of the Secretariat and the clerk will issue you with a visitor's writ for the capital. Oh, monsters? Indeed, they are. Next, please. Visiting the capital, are we? Please take a seat. Your name will be called once your application has been processed. May I? You, I think, are from a time beyond ours. Have you followed in the wake of Emmet Silk? Nay, there is no cause for alarm. I am simply a shade, here and not here. I know only that my name is Hitlodeus, and that this city is a recreation, a phantom moment plucked from the well of history. These others seem unaware of their pale existence. But I wonder if Emmet Selk's mind was distracted when it came to my reconstitution. A stray thought would have been enough. If Lodeus will realize the truth, for example. We were close friends once, you see. Yet in spite of my perception, I play the same role as all the rest. A bit part meant to bring color and noise to this well-crafted stage. Too much scrutiny and we shall burst like the fragile bubbles we are. Thus I tell you again, my presence is not to concern you. I wish only to share your company whilst we wait. If you've come this far, then you know of a catastrophe which awaits us on our morrow. The final days, what began as isolated incidents, soon swelled into a world-spanning threat. The Convocation of 14, 
well, it was 13 at the time, endeavoured to create a will for our star. They would repair the fundamental laws of order and halt the spread of destruction. But creation on such a scale required an immense source of power. Of those of us who still lived, nearly half offered up their lives in the name of salvation. And from their sacrifice, Zodiac was born. Just as we had hoped, he reached forth and halted the march of oblivion. Yet, oh, how the star had suffered. So many species lost. The land was blighted, the water poisoned, and even the wind had ceased to blow. Once more did our people give of themselves to Zodiac, another half of our ways sacrificed to cleanse the world, to ensure that trees and grasses and myriad tiny lives would sprout and grow and flourish. The cycle of life had begun anew and we reconsidered the means by which we might protect it. The convocation decided thus, we would nurture our world until it was bursting with vitality. Then, when the time was right, we would offer some portion of its living energy to Zodiac. In return, he would restore to us those brethren whose souls had fed his strength, and together we would resume our role as stewards. There were, however, those who disagreed with his plan. They argued that enough had been sacrificed to Zodiac, that this new world should belong to the lives newly born. These dissidents surrendered their life energies to the creation of Heidelin, an incarnation of their opposing belief. And for the first time in history, our people stood divided. Know you then how this conflict ended? Hmm, I thought you might. Emmet Selk has ever been a champion for the will of Zodiac. The original plan may have been set back by millennia, but he will not have abandoned his course. He will pay the price for our return, by whatever means is necessary. And though he may carry himself with a certain glib ease, Emmet Selk is not a man to bear his burdens lightly. In fact, I imagine that they have only grown heavier with every passing century. Ah. 
tis truly a terrible weight he has chosen to carry. Serenia Shadowstar. It seems your turn has come. Pray do not let me keep you. Ah, there was one last thing. You walk with another by your side, yes? Nay, I see no definite form, just the faintest suggestion of the second soul. I doubt it visible to anyone but me. Otherwise, I assume only you can see and hear this ethereal companion. <laughs> Your connection is hardly a coincidence. In our time, the two of you were one. The color of your souls tells the tale. A hue that distinctive cannot be mistaken, no matter how thin the soul is spread. This is just the kind of fate I might expect for some one such as we. Surely Emmet Selk has recognized the hint of her in you. Serenia Shadowstar. Fare you well. My new old friend, may you find what it is you seek. Your visitor's wit, as requested. When you wish to gain admittance to the capital, simply present the document to the attendant within. Yestol and I have returned from, our ins from an institution the locals call the Academia Anida. Well, from its public offices at least. We fought an Asian place of learning, the ideal spot to research your condition, but it seems we lack the credentials to enter the Academia proper. I got you here. Everyone seems to be present and accounted for. Ah, Serenia. Nothing to say? Master Fenk, you can best describe our chance of infiltrating the capital. I only hope Vine efforts to secure permission were successful. Finally, you were gone so long I was in verge of mounting a rescue party. How fared you in the bureaucratic ventures? Ah, I see my instincts were correct. And the good thing too, Yuri Angel and I await our chance of breaking into the capital. And an official entrance is by far the most attractive option. The capital boasts is not a single armed sentry. It would seem that in that time they did not deem it needful to post guards. 
The windows and doors, however, appear heavily warded. Though mightily did we strive, with strength mundane and magical, we failed to bulge on even a fraction of one ilm. Mayhap it's simply the case that Emmet Cell's procreation did not extend to their usual function. We didn't try everything, of course, but we thought it best to conserve our time and energy for more pressing matters. Speaking of which, Reen and I tried asking about a, a cure for you. The problem is, these ancients didn't exist beyond Amarot's today. They will happily tell you their own tales, but whenever we attempted to explain our situation, the conversation quickly became muddled. What of you, Serenia? Was aught worthy of interest set during your efforts to obtain a writ? Indeed there was. A great sacrifice of life in exchange for a brethren resurrection. And you say all the Asian scheming has been leading to this. All this time. But if they still mean to enact this plan, then things won't end with a rejoining. Aye, I thought we knew their intentions in full. Restore the world to its former glory and in turn empower Zodiac to reclaim his throne as the will of a star. Yet that was merely a step along the way. I hesitate to put it into words, but we have to assume that following the final rejoining, the Asians mean to draw on the lives of the source to make their sacrifice to Zodiac. That does seem the most likely scenario. Mayhap those who ally with the Asians will be spared that fate. But what value is there in surviving when all our history, all our struggles will be erased? I cannot conscience such an act. Of course not, and that's to say naught of what Emmet Selk's plans for the Exarch's power. Do we stand by and let them threaten our future as well as our past? We need to find him, Serenia. And when we do... Make your mark. Change the course of history in a way that's felt by those who, be who came before and those who came after. By everyone you've ever met. Change things so that even your, my other self, dying somewhere in that future calamity, will smile and say, I knew she would win. <laughs> Is fighting Emma itself the only way? He created an entire city. It would take everything we have to defeat him. If we even can. If you push that hard in your current state, the light will break free. The decision to press on lies with you. Just as it lies with each and every one of us. Probably a bit short, but I think I end the episode here. Um, be a mean ass and push in the role quest for the mage. And then we continue here. Because this is called Shadowbringers and it is likely the last or next to last quest of a base expansion. So, until next time. I'm Mace and don't get lost. <laughs>